Well, if that happens, then I feel like we're going to be able to pick up full court. And uh, we're going to be very good defensively, no matter who's in the game. But uh, that's a really speed, speed oriented and very IQ, high IQ with three point guards. Uh, Emmanuel's very smart, Ash is very smart. And I think I'm pretty smart too as well. But, you know, that's why I think IQ. If you were standing on an island and you had to pick one teammate to be with you, who would you pick and why? <laughs> well, I, I, if I had to stay with any of them, I'd be happy. But if I had to choose one, I'd say Khalil. And this is because Khalil is going, we're going to have the best fun. Like, we're going to laugh. It doesn't matter what circumstance we're in, if it's a bad circumstance, he's going to end up making me laugh and we're going to enjoy it. You said he was your roommate, so I, I assume y'all get along pretty well. Yeah, we do. We get along extremely well. We're always laughing. I'm screaming at him in his room, playing 2K or whatever. Asked, it's amazing. I asked him if there was something he could tell us about you that was he, that you wouldn't want us to know, and he didn't give much about you. Is there anything you can tell us about him? I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> We're dog. That's my dog. So uh, we're gonna keep it like that, <laughs> and uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Thank you. Have you and Ashton played together on the same side, or are y'all going against each other all the time? Uh, Coach Cal switches up the lineups daily, so sometimes we're on the same team. I've been on the same team a couple of times. You know, just whatever Coach Cal wants. What's it like more when you're going against each other? Uh, two. Dogs with one bone. That's how I describe it. <laughs> we both, you know, we both very competitive. We don't want to lose, and uh, it's great. I love it. I think it makes us as a team better. You had Khalil with you at a McDonald's game, and then Keon came at the Jordan game. How has that kind of chemistry that you you had back then kind of carried over to uh, practice so far? Oh. Uh Carried over a little bit, you know. We only, you know, practiced a couple of times at those certain events, but I've known Khalil since we were sophomores, and I've known Keon since we were in fifth grade. So those relationships go back a while, and uh, it's really good to play on the same team as them, not playing against them. A big blue madness. What are you looking forward to there? Everything. I've been sitting on the sideline watching for two years, so I can't wait to be a part of it. What is it about it that excites you? Like, just when you were on the sidelines watching. Just the energy in the building, like they're not we're not really even doing anything. We're just coming out dancing, do a little dunk contest, and the energy is still so hot, and uh, everybody's having a good time and enjoying it. I just can't wait. How do you feel the uh, the guys that were already here, like Emmanuel and EJ, uh, Ashton? Uh, how do you feel like they accepted you new guys? Like how's that going? Uh, um, well. I mean, we just, we came. So, I mean, Coach Cal recruited us. They're still here. We have to come together. We want to win. We all want to win. So, we have to come together as a team, as a unit. And I feel like they embraced us, which is really important as coming as freshmen. You know, you don't have many friends or anything on the team. And the older guys embracing you coming in, bringing you together, and accepting you to a family, I feel like it's very important. Have you guys done much together? I mean, what are some of the stuff? Do you much at all? Or? Well, we do pretty much everything together. I mean, like, going out to eat, playing pickup, playing video games, going to the lodge, playing ping pong. You know, it's a pretty good brotherhood and I really like it. What do you bring to the table on for this team? Energy, uh, I feel like I'm always gonna be a beat high energy guy. Always gonna be smiling, keeping positive energy. And uh, just whatever Coach Kyle really needs me and asks me to do, then that's what I'm trying to do. Terrence Cal picking. said that you're already going with a Ashton back and forth defensively. Have you always enjoyed playing defense? Well, my dad was really on me at a young age. So, like, I think around my sophomore year, freshman year, I started taking initiative and really playing defense and uh, starting taking pride of uh, who I was guarding and not letting him score. So, I've been pretty good with the man-to-man -man defense. And now I just come in here and we're getting, like, a lot, a lot of team-oriented team -oriented defense. And I feel like uh, I've been doing a lot better. So. He says defensively he thinks you guys need to be tougher. But on the ball, you're already good, but tougher. What goes into kind of getting better at that? Uh, just keep practicing, keep getting reps at it, uh, you know, help side defense. A lot of communication because, uh, and what I've learned is in college, you need to talk to each other. People need to know where you are. So, but like you said, uh, we're going to keep getting better. I already know. What's it like when you and I can go up against each other? Uh, I just told somebody else, it's like two dogs and one bone. <laughs> uh, two pit bulls going at it. And I feel like uh, we make each other a lot better. And uh, we're going to go at it as long as Coach Kyle tells us to. And uh, he's very competitive and he likes to win, and so am I. So I love it. Two dogs with one bone, do you bite? Huh? Do you bite? Do we two bite? Two dogs with one bone? 
<laughs> we, we bite a lot. <laughs> bite, scratch, <laughs> crawl, all of it. But it's amazing though, like we love it. At the end of the day, we can, we can do all that on the court, argue, and as soon as we get back in locker room, we're like best friends, so it doesn't really matter. Is that something so you're, you're used to? Darren Fox, fan. have you talked to him about playing here? I had talked to him about playing here. He just told me, you know, stay focused, stay in the gym. Same on, same on. Did you what was it about his game that captured your attention? Just the way he played with a smile on his face, like I do. His speed, his passion for the game, his love for the game. Did you enjoy the competitive nature that you've gotten to do in practice so far? I love it. I love it how we go at it every single day. No one likes to lose, and that's amazing. Uh, if we have it back in you know, competitive nature, it's going to be a great season. What about this summer, the Cup Games? How competitive was that? And then did you have any, like, special guests of other players that came in, you know, former Wildcats that were here? Uh, yeah, people come back all the time. But uh, we play pickup a lot, a lot of pickup, man. Like I said, no one likes to lose. So we're very competitive, and uh, the pickup games are awesome. You can't tell us any of those guys? <laughs> People will be most surprised at. Most surprised at? Uh, just my unselfishness. I like seeing my teammates succeed, uh, especially out here in practice. I've really been on them about, you know, trying to get more aggressive. EJ, Nick, I really want to see them succeed. That's a big part of my uh, life. life of you mentioned a couple of the returners. There's a good core returning here. What kind of advice have they given you, you freshmen, as you come in and get used to things? Uh, they just tell us, you know, stay team you know team first you know everybody has to everybody has their own goals of course but we're very team oriented you know we're all about the team first and they just tell us you know stay the course don't let go of the road uh you know coach cal and coach p they're all you know they're gonna fuss but uh as long as we stay together we'll be okay spotlight can get pretty intense here sometimes does your personality help you handle that <laughs> uh, i think my personality helps me handle a lot of things you know i just <laughs> smile through it smile through the pain smile through the good I'm always smiling. It keeps me happy. So. Coach mentioned what a great shooter that Johnny Juzang was. What has he shown you in practice so far? He can shoot. <laughs> really good. <laughs> Better than you? He can shoot really good. <laughs> <laughs> I love Johnny though. I mean, Johnny, like I said, he quick trigger. Uh, as soon as you give it to him, he's getting it off. And uh, we're going to have a shooting competition now because you said that. But. Have to. Oh, okay. All right. Cal compared your game to Jamal Murray. What do you think about the comparison? You know, pros and cons of that. Uh, shout out to Jamal. Uh, he's really good, and I feel like um, I can do some of the same things that he did here. You know, coming off those ball screens, playing on and off the ball. Uh, he was a very happy guy as well. Always smiling. Always keep telling Coach Cal. Coach Cal tells me a story that Jamal used to tell him. You know, before practice, hey, smile, Coach. Have fun. This is fun. Basketball is fun. This is our livelihood. Uh, we got four go. quick ones, okay? All right, let's we're gonna it. take you off the wall. All let's right, go. she's gonna ask, and I'm gonna record. Okay. Right, go. There we go. Okay, you need some fashion advice for a night out in the town. Who are you gonna go to other than yourself? Who on the team will give you fashion advice? Fashion? Ooh, maybe Khalil and EJ. Khalil, EJ, or Ash. One of those three. One of those three. Okay. okay, that one's good. Now you you, you gotta impress the ladies. You need some smooth talking lines here. Who's the best smooth talker? Khalil. <laughs> He's the winner so he far. Is, yeah, he, he is. is the winner. Yeah. Khalil. Now, you can be any car in the world that you want to be. What kind of car do you choose? Any car? Any car. <laughs> Maybe uh, Ashton Martin. <laughs> I tell you, this team got some expensive They do. Place. They got some expensive <laughs> Yeah, man. Hey, got to go big and go home. <laughs> Friday night, you're in the car all by yourself. No judgment here. What's the old school song you're gonna crank up that feel good? Um, I'm cranking the Temptations, My Girl. Oh, oh, oh. there we go. We That's have it. Right. Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs>